Hello and welcome back to EV Swap. I'm Jimmy and I'm a car enthusiast. I love cars of all types, but here at EV Swap, we take cars that are gasoline and convert them to electric, like this Nissan Frontier. So this 98 Frontier, we're just finishing up the final touches in the engine bay, and we're gonna start on the battery install next. You can see we got the front end on it, the bumpers, the grill. Um, we need to get a, some of the factory clips and stuff to do the final install on that but let me pop the hood. So we've got the Nissan motor stack installed in the truck. Uh, we got some motor mounts here at the front that's usually utilizing the stock motor mount. And we have the other motor mount over here. I'm gonna take the torque load on the side. So the stack fits perfect in here. Uh, it clears the hood, like the hood can shut perfectly. No interference. So we have at the bottom, the motor, the actual motor. And remember we had that coupler that uh, I installed between the motor and the transmission input. Um, and then the, in the middle here is the inverter. So the inverter is uh, this device which sends the power from the PDM to the motor and it controls the throttle and stuff like that. And then on top is the PDM, the power distribution module, or um, this is the chargers, the DC to DC converter, and the battery input goes into here and it sends power to the inverter. So that's the motor stack. Um, it looks super sweet and it even says Nissan on it up here. So the black looks great with the rest of the truck. Like it looks like it was meant to be in there. It's such a cool install. I'm really pleased with it. So it's just about finished up. We have a couple loose wires. Like these go to the charge port. Here's the charge port. Um, we're not sure where we want to put this. We're thinking maybe in one of these grills. Um, in the future, we want to add the Chatamo DC fast charging to this truck. This um, PDM doesn't support it, but we could add it. So maybe one charger here and the other charger in this grill here. So some of the things we've been thinking about, but um, it looks super cool with the whole front end assembled, the motors installed. So that's kind of the easy part of the install. The next part is going to be the battery. So I've been drawing up some plans for the battery preliminary. I think it's going to be an aluminum box and I'm going to have to learn how to weld aluminum um, because I think that welding is going to be the best way to build it. Uh, so basically all of these guts will be transferred into a big box that fits over here and it'll basically be uh, two separate boxes, one on each side of the drive shaft and then they'll be connected at the top where the contactors and uh, all the stuff will fit up there. So there'll be 12 modules on one side and 12 modules on the other side of the drive shaft. Um, so that's the plan. <laughs> Once I started throwing the tape measure up against all the modules and up against the space we have available, um, the battery started getting a lot bigger than I realized and the truck is a lot smaller than I realized. But I think I did a lot of brainstorming. I did some rough drafts. Um, I'm going to start building a cardboard mock-up this week uh, or this following week uh, basically so I can prove that it'll fit and all the modules will fit in it and um, but I think I got a good idea for that so that's the next big project for the truck before it can move remember like it can't do anything without that battery installed um, and then we've got in the interior the Resolve EV controller is now in its spot, it's all wired up. Uh, there's only a few wires left for things like the BMS in the battery pack and the uh, OLED LCD gauge cluster. And that's about it. Uh, everything else is, is wired up. So pretty soon we'll be able to put the interior back together and put the dashboard and everything back together there. So big updates on the little truck. It just looks so cool. I'm so happy with how the motor fits in there. You can see the Brat Industries plates, and then we have the coupler inside. And, um, yeah, I'm not planning on removing this motor at all. All the bolts are Loctited in various places. Um, we're going to have to set up the cooling lines. This is the water pump, and so we need to plumb that. And This is the reservoir. Um, we do have the radiator for the truck. This is the Nissan Frontier radiator. But it's kind of overkill. We don't need one that's that big. It's, it's too big. I have this fan here too. This is from the Nissan Leaf. 
And uh, so we can use that with the radiator, just more parts that we can recycle from that leaf. Um, we've been using just about everything out of it. So huge updates on the Frontier. Um, it's really coming together. So now I just need to get my nose to the grindstone, <laughs> grindstone on the uh, CAD software and design the battery box. So I think I'm gonna have it um, plasma cut again out of aluminum and I need to figure out how to weld aluminum. If I wanna use my Miller 211 here, I can buy a spool for aluminum and change the gas and stuff. Or if I just wanna buy a separate, separate second welder, that'll be aluminum oil only. So we'll see. So anyway, moving forward as always on the Frontier. Thanks again for watching, and if you liked it, hit a thumbs up. If you have any questions at all about the build, or if you have some ideas about how to fit all those cells in the battery box, or um, a better way to build a battery box than aluminum panels and, and welding the seams and stuff, then uh, put a comment down below. So thanks again for watching.